This summer we've been excavating in this area just north of the 1907 Memorial Church. This is also the site of a few different 17th century churches. So we're looking for evidence of the construction and destruction processes of those churches. In addition, this area was part of a 1608 extension to the fort, so we're looking for evidence of how this area was used in those early days of the colony. In order to get down to the level of the 17th century, we've had to remove a number of levels of overburden first. One that we've had a little bit of trouble with in particular is a pretty sizable level mixed with a great deal of brick rubble. The artifacts that we found in this layer indicate that it may be architectural and archaeological till from the 1890s and early 1900s, when an excavation of the site where the Memorial Church now stands was undertaken by the early APVA. Artifacts in this level have included carpenter's squares and mason's compasses, which may have been from the construction of the Memorial Church that now stands here. So in the fill layers that we removed before we were able to see the archaeological features, we found some interesting things. We, saw a, uh, we found a silver Spanish coin from the 17th century and some silver thread. We also found a uh, European tobacco pipe bowl with a maker's mark of a hand on the heel of it. Another thing we found was a uh, tooth that uh, we believe to be from the 19th century that had a an interesting filling in it and we are working on finding out what that was. We also found a copper alloy spur and rowel which would have been worn by gentlemen as a sign of status. So after we uncovered the overburden of this site of 40 feet by 20 feet we see a lot of archaeological features in the trench that I'm standing in now. Uh, we have found about six graves and about a dozen uh, planting furrows that run parallel to the 1607 Palisade East Wall. In addition to that, we have found numerous post holes associated with scaffolding that would have been used to help build the churches over the previous years. So after we remove the overburden, that will reveal the various features and shapes that are left there. And after we score them, we can map them using the transit. And that will help us with documentation and we can match it up with previous features we've seen and look for patterns and match it up with photos also. So what you're looking at here is the church tower of one of the original churches, which is the only surviving above ground structure from the 17th century. Now what we do know about the church tower is that it dates to the 17th century, but we don't know where within the 17th century it dates more precisely. So that's what we're hoping to find out here with archaeology. There had been some work done here previously before we arrived, including a trench dug by an amateur archaeologist in the early 20th century. His name is Colonel Samuel Young, and we see a remnant of the trench that he dug here. And then in the 1970s, archaeologists came through and dug a test unit here to see if there was any remaining builder's trench from when the tower was built. They hoped to uncover some datable artifacts within this builder's trench to more precisely date the tower here. Unfortunately, they were unsuccessful, but we're here to continue their work and hopefully find something datable and figure out a more precise date on the tower. A few years ago, we did some excavations on the south side of the tower and were able to find some builder's trench still intact. However, we weren't able to find any datable artifacts within that builder's trench. So now we've moved to the north side of the church and we've got a couple places over there that seem to be some promising intact builder's trench. And in the future, when we go into that, we hope to find some artifacts that will allow us to date this tower.